Hi, I'm Nick and welcome to Inktober day number 21. This Inktober challenge has officially become an adult. It doesn't act like one though, not at all. Today we're going to be drawing a kind of like a Native American totem pole. Did I say that right? Totem pole? I think I said that right. I'm pretty sure I said that right. If I didn't, I don't know. I'll have to do something bad. I'll have to apologize. So I apologize if I spelt it. I didn't even spell it, I read it, if I read it incorrectly. Anyway, we're getting way past the point. Uh, yeah, so we're going to chuck in a lot of colours and um, some ink work as well. Should be cool, it kind of looks like a bookmark as well, so it might be a bookmark. Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get into it. So here's the sketch for this kind of totem pole kind of artwork. Kind of like a bookmark instead of a totem pole because it doesn't have the wings there. Um, We've got a wolf at the top, or a bear, sorry, um, a figure, some Polynesian stuff, some axes, and then some crazy, crazy face there. Um, and we will use lots of colours for this one, uh, so let's get into it and get crazy. Someone the other day said to me, do you want to draw a totem pole for your next artwork? And I was all like, totes, that sounds good. Alright, bad, so bad joke aside, uh, let's get into the artwork, uh, let's talk about it. Um, so this kind of looks like a bear face, what I'm doing right now. Uh, it didn't turn out as, as bear-like as I, as I wanted it to. It kind of, I don't know what it looks like. You can kind of tell it's an animal of some sort, which is good, but you can't tell it's like a bear specifically. You can tell the one that I'm drawing now is like an evil face with horns. Um, but yeah, I, I probably should have done a better job with the, um, with the uh, bear. This is kind of like one of those artworks where when you're drawing it, you kind of like, Man, this just isn't working well, and it's kind of shit, to be honest. Um, but when you finish it, then you look back and you're like, damn, this turned out like 200% better than I thought it would. Uh, especially with all the colors that I used. Um, using so many colors definitely made it look better on the, on the back black round that I'm about to, uh, to paint in maybe 30 seconds, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it definitely turned out better than, than I thought. Um, and adding this color um, splashes going down the line in like order of color progression I was using was a really good move on my part, if you don't mind me saying so myself. I'm just floating my own boat here. Or as my friend used to say, uh, whatever floats your goat. I don't know about that one. Do, do goats even float? Um, I wonder if goats can swim. They surely have to swim. I don't know about mountain goats. Mountain goats, uh, they can like, they like defy gravity in some in some kind of pictures. They kind of, they, it looks like they're holding onto their whole weight on a mountain cliff with their teeth um, and with their paws and like, do they have paws? The clogs? I don't know. With their feet, I guess. But what, what was I saying? I don't know if goats swim. I'm going to guess they do. Most animals know how to swim otherwise they kind of die uh, which is kind of weird because humans don't inherently know how to swim but um, innately I should say but then some animals innately know how to swim but I don't know humans should be able to swim shouldn't they I guess if you kind of throw people in the water sometimes they do swim and sometimes they they don't um, but the difference between us and animals I guess is we if someone can't swim, we kind of save them, and animals, they're just like, eh, it wasn't meant to be, he was meant to die, it wasn't strong enough, kind of thing. Uh, or maybe they just don't have that thought process at all. Uh, that's probably innately in them as well. Um, it sounds like I'm kind of promoting swim safety now. So, uh, learn how to swim, it's an important task. Uh, I don't know how we got into the ocean, but now I kind of want to talk about the ocean. So I used to always be uh, like afraid of the of the ocean, pretty much. Um, like there's nothing scarier than the the beach at night. I reckon like a surf beach, and getting stuck in a rip or something. It's like cold water. You don't know what's in there, and you're getting like smashed around by massive waves. That's just bloody scary to me. Um, like, I don't know, the ocean is just such a crazy different world, and I don't know, you just, I just, whenever I'm in the ocean, I'm just like, I don't belong here. I'm not afraid of being killed by sharks, I think that would be kind of a cool way of going out. I'm, I'm more afraid of uh, drowning, because that's, that's no fun, um, 
and just being smashed around by waves when you can't really see anything. That that doesn't sound good for me. And I've just given everyone like the most scary way to threaten my life if they kidnap me. That was probably a bad idea. I changed that. I'm afraid most of of uh, being thrown into a bath of jelly, black currant jelly. That's delicious. That's that's what I'm most scared of in life. Um, so if you kidnap me and you and you want me to uh, talk, throw me in a bathtub of jelly. That would probably be a cool way to, to go out as well. I died because I ate my way out of a bathtub of jelly. Although I could probably just get out standing up and walking out. But eating your way through a bowl of jelly is probably cooler. Definitely. So give it up for jelly. Give it up for jelly. Uh, I'm nearly finished this artwork now. And because I did it on like such a weird piece of paper, like a long bookmark. It was really hard to get a picture of it that looked all right, like half decent. So I actually had to scan it. Um, so this is it here. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I think it really turned out really cool. Um, the colors look great on the black, back, black, black background. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this artwork. Um, if you're happy and you know it, subscribe. And if you don't, I die a little inside. Bye for now, but not forever. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow me on Instagram and like me on Facebook or click to see a random video below. I'll catch you down the road.